All right, so we're going to go over how to use Domo Forms. Now, I think Domo Forms is actually really, really cool and it's super helpful because it shortens the supply chain between getting information and displaying information. Now, prior to Domo Forms, what I used to have to do, I used to have to create a Google Form. And then I would have the Google Form where someone could enter in whatever information they wanted. And that would power a Google Sheets, which would then load into Domo once a day. So I'm not really getting real time information. Since using Domo Forms, it's been so good because you can have the form right there to collect information. So you have employees or customers, you can collect their information right away to power an ETL to run to then power a dashboard or an app. Okay, let's get into it. Let's go build something with Domo Forms. So first I'm gonna ask you to do, I'm gonna ask you to go to this little rocket ship that says apps right here. If you click that at the top, you should see some apps. You might have some already, you might not. What I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to pick one. Let's pick on the app title because that's usually the, the basic one that we get. I'm going to click that. And I'm going to say edit. All right. We're brought here to a very blank canvas. Now, do you see this pages and navigations right here? I'm going to ask you to click that for me and we're going to create a new page. Just for now, we're going to call this form. Okay. And I'm going to say create and continue. Cool. I just made a form. I'm going to click that. I'm going to save it. It's fine. Domo's just saying, hey, do you want to go over there yet? You haven't really saved anything. Like, no problem. So there we go. We see this little tab at the top that says form, but we haven't done anything with it. So let's go do something with it. Do you see this little plus sign right here? I'm going to ask you to click that sucker, move over, and we're going to grab form and we're going to just drop it right there. Now we're being asked, hey, do you want to create something new or do you want to use an existing form? For the purpose of this, we're going to say create a new form. I'm going to click that. And here it's very, very straightforward. I can say something like test form. Cool. Now what we have here is these are the order of questions that we want. So here you could say full name, pretty easy. I can put in a description if I really want to go put in your full name. Okay. Whatever. Now here I can have short answers, multiple choice, drop downs, all these things. Let's just do one where I'm going to say short answer. It's going to be a text because why would I have a number? And I can say it's required or not up to you, whatever you want to do. Okay. I want to show you another one. Let's do add question again. So that's our first one, full name. Let's do another one. Let's do country. We have country in there. Cool. Check this out. If I go to short answer, I'm going to pick something like a single choice drop down. I don't want people to have to type it in because I don't want to deal with misspellings. Maybe I don't want to have a huge list for people to pick from because there's so many countries in the world. I want to drop down, but I don't want to type in every answer. If I did do that, I would have to do this add option. I'd have to type in every single answer in here. I would have to type in like Argentina, add new one, you know, United States, I'd have to do all of these and I don't want to do that, right? What if we had a way to have a dynamic list that Domo can pull from? Well, we do. Check this out. We can say power list options from data set. I'm going to click that and right away, this little yellow triangle appeared that said, whoa, you don't have anything mapped. Well, we do actually. I'm going to click this country and what it's going to ask me, it's going to ask me what, which, which data set has these options. I'm going to say, select the data set. And for mine, just watch me first. Just watch me first. I have one called dummy data. If, okay. Dummy data. Sure. Why not? Great. Click that. Then it's going to ask me, well, what column, what column do you want from there? And I'm going to say, I want the column called country. So here's just an example to see how we can use this thing. All right. I'm not going to make that required, but that's an example. Okay, then I can add a whole new section. Same thing. I could do a bunch of other things in here. I could say, um, give me your age, short answer. And here you can pick a number. You could, you could do a bunch of other things that you want here. You could say, show me a group from Domo, a person who uses Domo, meaning a user. I said, whatever. Let's just say we want these three. Okay, whatever. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make that not required. I'm going to go to save. And I want to do a preview. So I'm just going to save it. And there we go. Check this out. We have this form. I could put in a name, country, and there we go. Now I have all of the answers coming from a single data set that happens to have all the countries listed. 
Now, where this can get super cool is once I pick a country, I'm just going to pick this Afghanistan one, hit next, age, I don't know, I'll put in 70, hit submit, boom. Okay, all we did is we just submitted something, but it gets super cool from that. Check this out. I'm going to hit this little edit button again, click the form, and now a data set was just made called test form. Hmm. So look at this. If I click view data set, There it is. There's my data set. If I hit data, one row. Okay, why why is, does John Lee sound so intrigued by this? Because what I could do is I can go to open with ETL. And now what I can do is I could trigger an ETL to go do some stuff. I could say, you know what? Go do some calculations to it. Do whatever I want. I'll put this in here. I'm just going to call this form, for instance. Form. And I can say, I want this to schedule whenever that form updates. So here's where it gets super cool, right? You could have somebody fill out a form for you, and that could automatically trigger an ETL or can automatically trigger a workflow or whatever you want it to be that then populates an entire dashboard. So what I have is I have some clients that do this. They will use the form to have their sales reps actually enter a bunch of things in there, which automatically calculates different equations for them for different dashboards or I have another client where they will use this form to say show me leads what's happening with that they enter it in it automatically kicks off the job in the ETL when it's submitted to then produce awesome dashboards and then where it gets super cool is every time they enter a new lead or a new customer that name is now saved in that list that drop down list so now that person shows up in a new drop down isn't that cool Instead of having to use Google Sheets where we have to fill out something, wait a day for it to come through, you could just use it, use it all in Domo Forms. Anyway, that is a quick intro into Domo Forms. I hope that helps, and I'll talk to you later. Hey, if that was helpful, I got a surprise for you. If you go to dashboarddudes.com, you can get access to my courses to be the me of your organization. With Dashboard Dudes, you get a couple things. The first is you get access to all the courses, every single one of them. And how these videos are designed, they're designed to be, you watch me, you do it. And they're made in short five, 10 minute videos. That way you could do it during break, before work, after work, on the weekends, whatever you wanna do. You're gonna watch me do something, then you're gonna do exactly what I do to master Domo. That's the Dashboard Dudes method. Furthermore, what you get is you can sign up for a trial. And during this trial, you can book time with me, 30 minutes for free every single month so I can help you out with whatever problems you have. In addition, I will send you a newsletter that's the latest and greatest that I have learned in Domo, little tips and tricks, only once a month so you're not bombarded. And you get this library of video answers that I've given for FAQs, frequently asked questions. So give it a shot, check out a trial, and have fun with it. All right, I'll talk to you later.